Hey guys, uh, let me show you today a couple of versions how you can create very simple playable ads, mostly uh, end cards and uh, video playables with very simple interactions or almost no interactions at all, but still classified as playable ads. Uh, those that actually work and those that we see that are trending quite a lot. Um, let me start with first showing you the the most simple ones that you can create and the, those are end cards so you can for example pick one of our templates or you can build them from scratch in our builder but let's say i want to create uh, an end card for my game so i will pick this template and all i need now is to just customize this for my for my game so let's say uh, that i will do a game of motorcycles so let's do this one cheers to creators of this game of course uh, what i did now i changed the background on uh, both portrait and landscape so as you can see this one is changed now what else i would change i would change the game icon obviously so let's uh, say that for this one we would use uh this uh this icon and let us actually even do some, let's say, scaling animation. So it's nice and flashy. Same I would do on the landscape mode if I need to, but I'm quite happy with the position and the size of this element. And let's say the one and, uh, and last thing would be this button. So let's say I want a different button. So let's put this one. I already have my button with text. So in this case, I would just uh, delete this text uh, or just disable it. And basically this is it. What else I can change here is change the pointer to, I don't know, we can pick one of ours. Let's say this one, uh, same I will do on the portrait mode. Let's say on portrait, I want this button to be a little bit bigger and that's it. What else I would do here is I would add uh, Matt Skills link here. Matt Skills. And that's it. I checked my estimated size. It's less than five megabytes, then fine. If, if you still want to have, I don't know, uh, smaller packages, you can still compress. So let's say I want to compress these. Actually, this logo is quite huge for, for a logo. So it was a couple of megabytes. Even better, now my playable head is only 2.5 uh, megabytes. Let me try to play it. So it's just a simple end card. Both the icon and both the buttons are clickable and are opening my links. And that's it. That's the first way how you can easily create a playable head. Of course, now I would build it for specific ad networks and use it in my campaigns, ideally combining this kind of end cards with uh, videos uh, either from your gameplay or, or any kind of videos that you use, but combination of this playable with a video, this is something that is performing quite well and uh, is, as you can see, it's very easy to create. Let's create another version of a simple playable ad that is uh, very similar to what I have shown you with the end cards. But this time, let's do it from a video. So let's say I already have my video here, as you can see. And for those that you are aware, there are limitations in what you can do with video because video, you cannot have both on uh, horizontal and, and vertical because of the nature of the video. It's, it's, it has only one resolution or basically one of the three, so square, horizontal, vertical. And you need to make some compromises. That's what videos are, but uh, that's completely fine. So let me say that I uh, have this kind of video. It's just some sort of motorbikes crashing. So there will be a lot of crashes, a lot of unsuccessful tries. And let me say that, okay, the first simplest thing that I can do is I can create, uh, let's say, playable with an end screen. So in this case, as you can see, I have added overlay that is called an end card. And I need to pick when I would actually chose the end card. So let's say somewhere and this time it should be it should be enough uh, i can modify it later but let's say in 16 seconds i will show uh, an end card that needs to say something right so in this case my end card will be uh will be having a button and the logo i think that might be even let's let's do this one as well 
So in this case, my end card, as I mentioned before, let's make a logo here. Let's also add the button. We will customize them afterwards. So this is the button. And uh, yeah, I was going to add the, how to call it, this banner as well. So let us change the position of it. Let's do something like this. Of course, the assets are pre-created and they are made up front. You would spend some time creating them if you don't have them. But if you already have enough assets for a game, you can easily create things like this. What else I would like to check here? So this is an end card. So it definitely all of the assets need to have this action triggered to open store URL. So this one has it, this one has it, this one has it. It's predefined behavior if you create this kind of an overlay. What else I would do is I would add uh, some sort of uh, more darker background so the video continues playing in the in the back. And uh, I already know that I used quite uh, heavy assets there. Again, the logo is quite big. And the difference between the templates that I show that I was showing before, you know, the template has got only uh, size of the code itself and then your assets. But video, you need to count that you actually uploaded already a video. In this case, that is three megabytes. So my limitations in terms of playable ads are obviously I can have only two around two megabytes of assets. So I have compressed those. Let's say that uh, I want to add some uh, hand element as well. So let's do this one um, like this. And I can even do some, let's, let's this time let's do transparent animation. That that's it. That would be my let's say next playable. I can try to play it. So again, there's literally nothing happening. Just the video is playing. So I, as a user, would open this on my mobile device. I would see this kind of video messages or messages the video being played. And then on certain time or certain uh, time time frame with that I set up, I see these kind of things that when I click, I am opening store URLs. Let me actually save the project as well. Uh, this way you can save the project without actually building it and, uh, you know, spare your build and come here later, open project and continue editing. So in this case, my project is ready for me. So this was another version of basically the same thing. It's an end card critic from a video. So you don't need to combine video with an end card, but you already have a video with an end card built as a playable ad. But I can still modify it a little bit. If you don't want to create, let's say, like a full gameplay video where I will be, you know, pushing a trigger on that motorbike, I would maybe do still one thing and that would be called permanent overlay. And with this permanent overlay, it's permanent as, as you can see. So it's something that is, in this case, I want to have it, okay, maybe not from beginning, but let's say from two seconds to the end of the game. Uh, and I want to have nothing more, nothing else, just some sort of simple play now button that would be somewhere here in the bottom. And it would be, let's say it would be scaling a little bit. I can even change the scale factor for this one. And actually, let me do it the way. So this starts in 16 seconds. So let's change this one to be ending in 16 seconds so you don't have two CTAs. What's important to add here is that I need to change the behavior of this one. This is set to no action. So again, I want to open store URL. What I did now is that after two seconds, the button is shown, the video continues, but anytime user clicks on this, let's call it the floating button, then I'm redirected to the to the store. If I'm not interacting with the button, I'm shown the end card in the end, and basically similar to to, to previous thing. And that's it. That's another version of the same playable that I modified from one to the to the other in what in a couple of seconds, maybe minutes on top. If I would not be explaining, it will be literally a couple of seconds. This is very basic stuff. This is stuff that. I uh, always told our users to create on scale. So don't, don't be afraid to create as many of these simple playable ads as possible and combine them in, with, the, with the more complicated ones. 
you can create much, much complicated things here as well, but this video is, is intended to show you only the, the really the basic ones, because this is something that uh, you should create really in, in larger numbers and uh, to, to a little bit like overflow the, the campaigns. So you have seen how to create playable ads from, uh, uh, from our templates. You, can, you have seen how I created a simple end card and playable ads from uh, the video. And now have a look on how you can create one absolutely for free without any registration. And that is by using our tools.playablemaker.com. Going here to video to playable, you can explore other tools as well. And uh, you will just upload your video. In this case, let me let me use the one that I was showing you before. Now, what this does is that it will add a download button. You can add any link here, Android and iOS URL and the game icon in this case uh it's it's this one what it will do is it will convert your video to html file and all you need to do now is either download the uploading build or unity build of course if needed in the future we might support more uh, ad networks but that's what our main tool is for playablemaker.com you can visit it and, and create yourself in this free tools there is uploading and unity supported now I just download uh, a Unity file and I'm good to upload it in my in my uh, in my campaign. As you can see here in the preview, the playable ended. I have the download button. I have the logo. Both are clickable and opening the URLs that I open here, and that's it. You have your own playable ad for free from the video without editing skills, without nothing, just in a couple of seconds. So go ahead and give it a try. And from this basic, you can uh, you can easily upgrade to playablemaker.com and try to create more, uh, let's say, more robust stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, let me know if you have specific questions. Jump on a demo. Send me an email. We are always eager to listen to you and to uh, introduce your feedback to our product. And uh, if you need more video on specific topics or specific wings, uh, ways how to create something. Just ping me and I'm, I will happily do it for you. Cheers.